everybody. It's Ken Clement, CondoVoice.com. Thanks for joining me today. Today I was out in the yard uh, tending to my chickens, harvesting eggs, and I walked by this pile of moringa. And I said, you know, i got to do that moringa video for y'all. Okay, so listen, I'm a huge fan of moringa. And um, I just, I, you know, this pile of sticks behind me, there's a story. And I'm going to explain it, and it's important. So I believe every one of us should be eating moringa every single day. Now, this is not a medical video. This is not medical advice. This is not health advice. This is no advice, okay? It's just me talking, all right? So make up your own decision whether you want to do this or not and do your own research on Moringa. But listen, it's, it's, if any of what they're saying about it is true, anything, any part of it, it's amazing and, it's, and you're going to be better off for it. So here's what we do at my home. We have a Moringa garden. We have a moringa forest, a mini forest, where we harvest our moringa. And the cool thing about moringa is it just grows everywhere. I mean, it doesn't even care what soil you put in it. I mean, you put it in, and it, it takes partial light, full light, full sun, partial. You can, you can dry this stuff out. You can have a drought. It'll look dead, and then it will just come back to life when you get the first rain. I think there's different names that different cultures call moringa, but... For example, it's God's tree, it's the tree of life, it's the miracle tree. Those are three of the names that I've heard said about it. Um, I don't know what's accurate, what's not, but I can tell you that, that from the description of what the scientists have said about it, that it's remarkable. And so here's what I know, here's what I've heard. Okay, this is just what I've heard and what I've read. That Moringa has every vitamin there is. Every vitamin your body needs, my body needs. It has every amino acid that your body needs. So in the little leaves that Moringa produces, within that little leaf, there is an incredible source of vitamins and nutrients that we need to live. Um, and it, it's just amazing. Now, it doesn't have a whole lot of taste to it. So that's what's good about it. And what we do is we have it fresh in our salads. We just walk out the door. We go to our little moringa forest. We cut off a couple of branches, rinse it off, pat it with a towel, and then we pluck off the leaves because I don't like the stems, and we eat it. And that's, that's what we do, and we put it on every salad. Um, <clears throat> the supposed benefits of moringa, the stuff that I've heard, again, it's not mega advice, it lowers blood, blood pressure, which is a big thing, because as you get older, we all have, we're, not all of us, but most of us have that issue. So we're just, we're just going to eat it, and we're just going to see how it works. It, the proof's in the pudding. Now, you know, that's, that's not accounting for other life changes I could have made when I decided to start eating Moringa. I know it kind of gets, you know, a little messy there to try and say, oh, look, because you started eating Moringa, this health benefit occurred. I mean, it's hard to do that. It's probably impossible to do that. But... I just know that I like it. It's easy to grow. It takes, you don't even have to fertilize it. Where does it get its nutrients? If you don't have to fertilize it and it grows in, in cruddy soil, how does it get its nutrients? How, where, how does the roots grab the soil that can be like basically sugar sand? Okay, in central Florida where I live, it's basically sugar sand. Now I, I do uh, composting, you know, so I, recycle all that stuff so I enrich my soil that my vegetables are grown in so so they have nutrients in it they don't just taste good or look good which is the commercial grade or the commercial variety that you buy in a store and stuff because they're looking for high volume and less bruising I grow my vegetables in really really good dirt and so I know that they're absorbing the nutrients that I give them in that dirt and I know that when I eat that same tomato or that same um, lettuce that it just doesn't look good and just doesn't taste good it's good for me moringa is i can see what i call it god's tree because and it's not very popular um a story i'll tell you here um, and i just want to illustrate again the pile behind me see how the grass is growing up i haven't i have i've sort of been mowing around this this these sticks and i'm going to tell you a story about moringa these sticks right here put my egg down these guys right here have been sitting here, and I haven't touched them. I haven't even grabbed them. Oh, look. Look. This big one right here. See that? 
See the green in there? These things have been sitting here at least six weeks. Because what I do every uh, spring is, and I didn't do my homework last year, last fall, I should have cut them all down and I shouldn't have let them get so tall. Because the more you cut them down, they'll sprout out where you cut them. And then you can reach the moringa leaves. If you let them grow too tall, you just can't reach the leaves. They still produce the leaves up there. Anyway, um, so I don't know what this thing, but I'm just going to show you that when you've got a... This thing's been sitting around. So if you scrape, and this, this is true for anything, look. Look at how succulent that is right there. Can you see it? Let me hold it up to the camera. There. Okay. And so this has been sitting here. No other tree that I know of, no other bush that I know of, would have this much life left in it when I've cut it down. And sat here for, you know, it's probably been two months. Because this is April 29th. And I remember cutting these back quite a while ago. And lazy me, I forgot to pick up the pile. I just kept mowing around it. But I haven't really mowed the grass that much because it hasn't grown yet that much, you know. It's that season. And here we are. Look at this. It's amazing. If I pick up any of these, look, I haven't touched these, right? This one's just raw and there's nothing. I haven't touched anything. Look, watch. Look at that. I mean, look at that. It's amazing. Now, here's what's going to happen. If I just left this lay like that, I don't see any sprouts, but it will start sprouting. Okay? And if I take this branch right here, even with that stub on it, as nasty as it's looking, and I and I just cut it, okay, and I put I cut a stick about this long, I'm gonna say about that long, and I stick it in the ground, it'll grow roots and it will grow a brand new bush or tree just from a stick. And a stick that's been sitting on the ground with no help whatsoever for two months. Two months. If you don't have a green thumb, this is your buddy, this is your pal. You can grow baranga. Uh, you can grow it and it's going to grow for you and you're hardly going to have to do anything to it. So I want to walk you around here to my moringa. I'm going to show you how I harvest it and stuff. But <clears throat> this is this is my moringa. Now, I got to tell you this story. So I have, a, I, I, have a, I have a little company. All right, It's a property maintenance, property management company. And uh, over the years, and this goes way back too because I've had this company for 35 years. Um, I've had, literally, I was telling my wife the other day, I think I've had every person from every nationality that I could possibly imagine work for me. And it's just, I'm, I'm as diverse as anybody I know in terms of just come on to work. If you, do, if you can do the work, then and I'm going to pay you. And I'm going to be happy about it. And we can mix cultures and we can do all this stuff. So, and every time that's happened, I got to know a little bit more about a different culture I didn't know or something. So one of these times, uh, uh, a nice young man who had just come off the boat from Cuba, and uh, he worked for me, and we did it legally. I mean, you know, he had a social security number, and we, we, we did it right. We always do that right. And um, But he's a great kid. He didn't speak any English. <clears throat> and so anyway, he was a good worker, and I had a, another... Uh, guy uh, working for me that w could interpret. So we were talking about, and, and the subject come up about Moringa because he came to my house, he saw the Moringa, and he said, ah, oh, Moringa. So I said, oh, you want some? You know, I can, I can give you some plants. You can take them home. You can grow them. He says, no, 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 no Moringa, no Moringa. So we were laughing. And so anyway, the gentleman that interpreted explained to me the story. So <clears throat> in Cuba, Castro and the ruling uh, people there tried to get the population to like Moringa. And they did all this research and everything uh, because they didn't, the beef was too expensive, proteins. I guess there's a lot of protein in Moringa. So um, the government said, well, if we could just get the people to like Moringa and add it to their diet, then our, our population would be healthier and less stress on the medical system to take care of them. So they, they tried this for years. and. The, there was some sort of a campaign on to plant moringa in your front yard. Like, everybody needs to grow moringa and everybody needs to eat moringa. So, and this, this happened. This is still going on, I think, in Cuba. I don't know. Maybe, maybe if you're Cuban, you can let me know. But um, anyway, so, but he had to eat so much of it that he got sick of it. And he didn't like it. And he said he'll never eat another moringa again. 
you'd rather eat beef now that he's in America. So anyway, and, and I can, I can get that. I got that, you know? So for me though, I, you know, I'm not a big beef fan anyway. Um, but at any rate, cause I, I'm more into vegetables and stuff like that. So for me, moringa is an easy, uh, an easy thing to do. I mean, I, I love it. And, um, and the fact that I've done some research on it more recently, um, to really get down into the weeds of it, the details, I can see the health benefits could be amazing. So I'm it. I'm moringa rest of my life. I'm going to eat it. So the other thing we do with moringa is um, we dry it. All you do is you cut it and you dry it on a table and you leave it in the air conditioning and you let the natural uh, dehumidification of the air conditioner suck out the moisture of the leaves. And after about four or five days, you'll see it gets, it gets kind of brittle. And so what we do is we just put it in a Tupperware thing. And so what I do, especially if I don't, if I'm too lazy and I don't want to go out and pick the moringa fresh for my salad, like just five minutes before I eat my salad, um, I'll just take some of that moringa and I'll sprinkle it on. And we sprinkle it on spaghetti. Um, gosh, I wish I could think of all the stuff we sprinkle it on, but we just sprinkle it on all kinds of stuff. And it's cool because it looks nice, right? I mean, you know, it actually adds green. It's, it's really kind of cool looking. And, but you got, I don't like the little stems, but what you do is you take your finger and you just kind of crunch it up, you know, because it's just the leaves. And when you crunch, it's really easy to crunch up because it's very brittle. And it just crunches up into tiny little pieces. And then you mix that into your food and you, you don't really taste it. It's got a little nutty flavor. If I said it had a flavor to it, it'd be a little nutty. Now, <clears throat> you can search the internet and you can come up with different videos on Moringa. And I've heard it has a lot of other things too. It's like, it's incredible. It can actually filter water. I don't know how they do that, but I've heard they do that and stuff like that. So hold on, I'm gonna take you over to my Moringa. I'm gonna show you how I harvest it. Okay, here we are in my uh, little Moringa forest, my mini forest. Um, I got these things everywhere. I've planted them all areas of the yard. They kind of blended real nice. See, it's a pretty bush. And, and this guy here, I'll just show you. It's got a very thick trunk on it. You can see the trunk, get it out of the way. So this, this thing's been in the ground for five, six years. And so every year I just come off and I cut it right, right about here. And I get these nice, beautiful shoots, see? And they're very succulent. They're, so anyway, so right here is my Moringa. So like if I'm uh, getting ready to have a salad, I'll just come out here and I'll just like boom, 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 come up here. And that's my Moringa leaf. It's so pretty and there's no bugs on it. All right, so bugs really don't like this stuff. I don't know why, which is great because I don't have to spray it. It's all organic and everything. And so then when I do my salad, I just pluck off the leaves like this. I'm gonna waste a whole Moringa, shame on me, but just to show you. So anyway, and you just pluck off the leaves and they're just, they're wet, they're succulent. They retain moisture, there's a lot of water in these things. Okay, so I just pluck off the leaves like this, put them right on top of the salad, mix it in, it's beautiful. In fact, I'll just take these in and we'll add it to the salad, which I'm just about to have. So that's about the all I want to tell you about Moringa, but man, I, you, you just gotta, and the seeds are easy to grow, really easy to grow. You could order some seeds online. I, I don't sell them. I don't sell the trees. I don't sell that. But, you know, I give them away. Everybody comes to my house and I show them my garden. I go, hey, you want a moringa? And I encourage them. They go, where would I put it? What would I do with it? So, w one little thing I just want to say, all right, that I'm making these videos, and I'm just going to say it out loud because I, I think we're heading for some hard times. I do. I feel it in my spirit. I see it in my natural sense. Um, I think financially, I think we're in for some real hard time. I think we're in for a big change. All of that is stressful, okay? It's not just stressful in figuring out how to feed yourself every day and right? how to pay the bills and how to do all that and find work and do all those things. I just think we're going to have an economic slowdown worldwide, and I think it's coming sooner than we all think. So as I make these videos, and it just starts to rain, um, I do do these for you. I don't do them for me because I'm taking care of myself and my family. But I think, you know, it's a shame. We all need to stick together if we can, help each other, love each other, show some community love with God's love. That's the deal, okay? That's the deal. We gotta do it. So anyway, showing you how to eat and how to harvest and how to plant and how to do this stuff is part of my give back, part of my pay it forward, part of my caring. So 
I just want to encourage you, get a few moringa seeds, okay? Just sprout them. Get a few pots. You can do this, okay? You know, back in the Great Depression days, people grew little gardens that were called victory gardens. And, you know, I remember when I was young, I, and I was sick, and just really sick. I was sick a lot, you know? And my mother would just walk up to me and go, drink this glass of water. And I would say, why? Why do I drink the glass of water? She said, just drink it. And, you know, and, and I said, no, no, I don't. And when you're sick, water doesn't taste good. It doesn't taste good to me. And I'm going, no. But I was probably getting a little dehydrated and didn't really know it. But when you're young, it's like, whatever. And so I would say, okay. She would bug me so much that I said, fine, I'll drink it. You know, and, and the point was that I didn't realize is I'm doing something to help myself. I don't just lay there and suffer defeat. Get up. Do something. I don't care if you plant one moringa or or you plant a few tomatoes, or you, you take the next level and do some lettuce, okay? Or you try something that's gonna grow in your region, do a little bit of research and help yourself. I, watch my planter video. You could grow 50 plants in one of my planters. Doesn't take up much room. And all you gotta do is water it once a day, a little fertilizer or something, mix up a little dirt. It's fun. At, pulling weeds is great for your psyche. Pulling weeds is a great therapy, by the way. And tending to a garden is similar to that. So if you're growing, so, so here's the deal. So you're growing a garden. Think of all the stories, that, even from the Bible and everywhere, about growing a garden. Self-sustainability, okay? You can take care of yourself, even in hard times. So get yourself a little victory garden going, you know? Plan for it. Do it. Uh, don't just lay there. Get up. Have some faith. Be encouraged. You can do stuff. You can eat moringa. I know, it's like, Moringa, no, you can eat this little bit. You don't need a whole lot of this either, just to give your body vitamins so that you're fighting that good fight, you know? And in my, in my mind, here's the deal, my body's the, holy, the, the temple of the Holy Spirit. I need to take care of it the best I can. I need to stay positive, I need to have faith, I need to trust God, but I also need to take care of myself in a practical way. Moringa can help you do that. It's God's tree, for goodness sakes. They don't call it that for no reason. Come on, you can do this. All right. Um, if you got a comment, put it in the comments. And uh, God loves you. I love you. You all have a great day.